Well, hi everyone, thought I'd do a quick update on the tank, see how, how they're going. Um, you can see not doing too bad, the uh, toaster coil is getting absolutely massive. Doing really well. It's getting ginormous actually. <laughs> yeah, we'll go down the side and see, see how, how much space is taking up. Yeah, it's getting quite quite big. Anyway, yeah, toaster coil is growing nicely. I've moved the... Um, Mushroom coals to the back here. Um, they were down below, but I've moved them up here because I thought it takes up a nice space there and it sort of draws your eye to the back a little bit. So I'll put them there. They were they used to be down the bottom around here, but they were taking up this corner. I'll put the camera head here, but as you see it's not entirely happy and the bottom half's receding. So I'm gonna have to find another spot for the hammer head because I think it's too it's on its side too much. I think it needs to be more level. So yeah, hammerhead's not entirely happy at the minute. Uh, I could put it on this corner maybe, but then I don't want it to, when I clean it, you know, it might get too near the glass and it might aggravate it when I clean it. So, yeah, running out of space for focus. Yeah, running out of space to where to put the hammerhead. Um, sorry about the, the uh, reflections on the tank, but this is the best I can film it. I've even managed to shut the, um, shut the blinds but uh, I'm still getting quite a lot of reflection. So it's just shown. But um, the main issue I'm having with this tank at the minute is I ran out of phosphate media last week. And if you can see, if it'll focus, the hair algae is slowly going absolutely crazy again. It's all going down the bottom, around the sides here. It's, it doesn't seem quite as bad at the back, but it is. there's still a lot of it. It's definitely got worse. Um, but I'm thinking of getting um I've got a tuxedo urchin that does quite a good job. You just see him he's just hiding in there at the minute. So oh. yeah, so I might get another tuxedo urchin, but obviously as you because we're in lockdown you can't go out. I'll have to um I was thinking of trying to do an online del order and see if I can get a delivery, but I've never had livestock delivered before, so I'm not sure whether to do it or not um, yeah so we'll see how that goes anyway but I think another tuxedo urchin would probably help with the hair algae so yeah that's that uh, everything else you're doing okay the main problem though with the hair algae I'm having now if you can see it's sort of gone a lighter colour and it's spreading all down the back here and it's all spreading around here and down here did do a water change yesterday and scrape a load off um, but the worst part is it's you can see it's encrusting on the um, my LPS um, oh, LP, uh, green star polyps so I managed to get a toothbrush and brush a lot of it off yesterday but it's kind of upset them at the minute and they've all closed up you, see, you can see how far they were spreading but they've actually receded quite badly with it hair algae is just overtaking them so yeah not having too much luck with uh, hair algae issues at the minute so yeah not quite sure any of uh i did put some phosgard in the tank again to try but it made no difference at all and um just noticed this guy's sulking a little bit so yeah yeah i said i tried phosgard but it didn't make any difference so anyway i finally got my delivery of what i've ordered yesterday if i just get it I've ordered, I'll give this a try, which is called, it's Fauna Marine Power Foss. Um, like it says, absorb it, it's like granulated. It's, it's, um, I usually use um, Rara Foss or Acroforest Phosphate Minus, but they're quite messy. And this one's got quite good reviews and it's, it's, um, it's sort of like a ground dusty powder, like brown powder, let me see. But um, yeah, it's, I don't know, I've put some in anyway, and I'm going to test my phosphate levels today and um, see if it's come down. I said I've done a 10 litre water change as well yesterday. So let's hope, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, things get back. Just just this hair algae I need to get rid of. So yeah, apart from that, everything's doing okay. Um, then next to that, I've also set up a copepod culture because I found a new one liner and uh, her name is 
uh, I think it's called, it's a new YouTube channel called The Salty Life. Um, uh, and she's really helpful and she's done some great videos on setting up her first marine tank and she's also done um, a few videos on setting up um, a copepod culture. So I thought I'd give it a go again. I've done it a few years ago. If I can make it a bit darker because it's not. There you go. That's more, a bit more what it's like. Uh, yeah, I did do it a few years ago, but I sort of, it sort of, I don't know, they'd done alright for a while and then they just sort of crashed. I was zoom in. Yeah, you can see they're, uh, they've been in there for about uh, a week, just over a week now, so it's going to take a little while to before they all grow. Um, but the culture comes with this container, is this good focus? Right, comes with this container, which I think is three or three and a half litres. It comes with an airline, a uh, bit of airline, you get a, you get a little control valve with it. Just so I can just get some gentle, just a little focus, just a little bubble coming out, probably, probably one every second or so. So yeah, I've done that. Um, yeah, you get that. You get a little, you get a very a little air pump. If you buy the extra, it's, it's sort of an extra order. This camera focus. Um, yeah, there's sort of a basic order you can get, or you pay a bit extra and you get an airline and the air pump and everything. I think it's about thirty-five pound plus postage. But I wasn't sure about the airline at first. For all, oh, do I need? Do I really want it? I thought it was going to, but it's actually small and it's really quiet. But yeah, no, I'm very pleased with it. It's a very nice little, little air pump. Uh, and you also get a little bottle of phytoplankton, which I had so much, probably a small amount every couple of days. Just keep the water green. Um, yeah, and we'll see how it goes. So, let's just camera focus. Right, there you go. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, and now, later on, if I just open this up, something else I used to use, which seemed to work really well, I used to get this from Sainsbury's and it's called organic spirulina powder and it's really fine powder and you just put a small amount in and it seems to really, well it did boost them before, they seem to feed off it quite well. Um, I'm going to see how it goes without it first and just add the phytoplankton and then once I've done this culture I'll try it again and add some of this and the phytoplankton and see if it makes any difference. So yeah, so that's that. Um, yeah, still got two same Jabara power heads running on the tank. They're the two controllers. Uh, just ran, just change the flow once a day and have them on. You see, I don't have them running that fast. One's on about 40, 4, what, four dots or forty percent, and uh, one's on about thirty. And I've got them linked together. So, yeah, actually, as a change, I'll put them on random. Put it on else mode, which makes flow around for a few hours. So yeah, so power heads are doing not too bad. I'm thinking of changing, like I do. I fancy on a different power head, but these do a good job, and they're probably had them about maybe two years now. So yeah. So anyway, hopefully these copy pods will pick up and keep this little guy fed. Uh, he's my main phosphate issue problem because I'm feeding him so much but I don't know he seems okay so yeah so that's that tank and copepods now if you come over here this is my innovative marine nouveau fusion 20 uh, I've had a bit of a rescape made this one island here and one smaller one here. Uh, still got six small fish in it, you see, see and I made sort of an open space around here with just a few rocks and since I made this more space the uh, my fire fish has come out as you see he's out all the time now, he's quite happy. And um got Royal Grammar. He's settled down quite a bit. I still think he needs a bigger tank than Royal Grammar, but at the minute I uh, can't really do anything with him, so I could try him in the dual tank, but um, they can get quite aggressive, so I think he's better off staying in this tank, because obviously there's not too many fish in this tank that he can sort of 
so he's got quite a lot of his own territory. Whereas if I transferred him to the other tank, he'd have the two clownfish, um, and then I've got um, clownfish and the uh, I've got a wet morella wrasse and starry blenny. So there'd be quite a few more fish that may upset him as well. So he might turn not so happy. I'm getting algae on this one piece of rock. You see where my um, where my dot dash bunny sits. Uh, yeah, don't know why I'm getting algae here, and I did have algae all along the back wall, which I've scraped off. So what was causing that, I don't know. But the main issue is I can't, I just cannot keep LPS corals alive, and I've no idea why. As you see, um, the Kenya trees really nice backdrop doing well. Just keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't spread uh, too much. I've got these um, clove polyps which are growing that these receded once and I put them in the jewel tank and then I put them back in here and as you see they're doing really well now um, the uh, I think the Gorgonian I think the dark fans these are doing really well I love Gorgonians really nice turned out really nice and I've got loads of these feather duster worms that have come up let's see Coming up everywhere, little feather duster worms. So yeah, but um, the LPS coral I've got, I've got a, uh, oh what is it, a candy cane coral. So you can see it looks like it's receding, not doing well, and it looks quite dark. So it's getting like a layer of algae around it. Uh, and I have got what's left of it is if it'll pick it up. Is my last a can coral which isn't doing well so yeah, I'm not having much luck keeping LPS coals I did have two frog spawn coals in this tank but they both done a pollock bail out so if I just if you'll focus on it yeah frog spawn coals on there I'll get this to focus I won't focus now hang on yeah anyway frog spawn coals was on this piece and it's just done a pollock bail out so I've lost two of them that way, so I've no idea what I'm going wrong with with LPS calls, but it'll focus, uh, it won't focus right, yeah, but unfortunately I cannot keep them alive. Um, I've tested my KH, it's stable, it hasn't moved, I've tested it constantly for two weeks. It fluctuates very slightly between seven and eight, but nothing drastic, so don't know what else I'm, I'm doing wrong. I've got a um, little power head in it, creating, creating flow. You see everything's moving gently, nothing's nothing's getting too much flow, nice gentle. Like a little lagoon effect probably what I'm trying to create because that's supposedly what LPS calls like but at the minute I'm just having no luck keeping them alive. Uh, yeah so I don't know what else to do with regards to that. Um, I don't know if it's lighting, I did have this light quite low on 20% blue and 10% white. Um, but I don't know, maybe I should have it on about 50% blue or maybe even higher. Uh, not entirely happy with the light because I, I don't know if it's me, but whenever I make changes on it, on the um, on my iPad, it, it doesn't seem... I've increased the brightness from 20% blue to 20%... Uh, sorry, from 20% blue to 50% blue. Um, and the tank doesn't look any different, so I don't know whether it's not linking to it or what. So... I'm actually, I've actually got an AI Prime which I didn't get on with very well and I've now got this LED 50 from Red Sea and although they're really obviously high end good quality lights I'm just not, I don't know, maybe I need to go old school and get something more basic I may even try something like the Fluval, I think Fluval Marine light they do but it's, it's the only trouble with Fluval Marine is it's the long light so we'd have to go like a bar across the top which would be a pain if I need to do maintenance, so I'd have to lift the light off, whereas if I went over the back like this, it's easier. The other option I could go down is, I might try a Kessel A80. Um, maybe put two Kessel A80s on the tank, because I've had Kessels before, and they're quite they're really easy, because they've literally got two dials on them. Um, the only issue with Kessels is you need one plug to plug the light in, and then you have to buy a controller separately, and then you have to have a plug for the controller, and then you have to have leads connecting controllers to them so there's quite a lot of messing about with Kessels 
so I'm not sure whether to do that or not. Um, I say I did in, I did um, buy the in uh, in tank media basket for this when I set it up just to improve the filtration. Um, as you can see, this one it's re really fits nice, snug, tight. It's got quite a bit of pressure on it, trying to pull it out. It really fits snug, nice. Um, and then last week I thought I'll increase, I'll, in, I'll improve the filtration a bit more and I bought a second one. But if you look at this one, look at the play in that. The movement in that compared to the other one. So, so I put the, I put them both next to each other and they look exactly the same. So all, I don't know whether this is these are slightly out, maybe made different. Although I'd imagine they, like I said, they look the same, or as maybe this part being put in slightly, slightly not measured right when they made the tank. Maybe there's more gap here or something. But you can see there's a lot more play in this one, whereas this one, that's a little bit there, but that doesn't rattle or nothing. Look, if I try sideways, nothing solid. There's this one. Loads of play in it. So yeah, I'm not entirely happy with that, but I'm hoping it still feels okay. So yeah. Um the only thing with these tanks I would say is this rear filter can be a bit of a nightmare. Trying to keep everything clean in it. Uh, and I don't know if you can pick it up, but you can see there's quite a lot of debris down the end there. Which I need to I'll try and zoom in. It is, you know, it's quite dark, there's quite a lot of waste building up at one end uh, and I'm getting quite a lot of hum from this from this uh, return pump so I need to try and take this out and check it today because I cleaned it the other day uh, yeah but apart from that everything's doing okay if this will focus, yeah so yeah, the little tank's doing okay so yeah, I really want to make this an LPS tank but at the minute it's just not happening so yeah see how things go anyway that's a little update okay see you on the next one bye